This next story is for all those virtual reality fans out there. 15-year-old Sabarish Nyanamorthy is the youngest person to develop virtual reality and augmented reality applications. He's also the world's youngest AR developer sponsored by Microsoft. He's been named one of the top 10 most influential people in the field of technology. He's set to speak all about how both augmented and virtual reality can help solve some of the world's biggest problems. And he's just 15. Feel inadequate yet? I do. Cyrus joins me now. Good morning. Thank you for being on our program. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you are set to speak at TEDx tomorrow in Toronto. Tell us what you're hoping to convey. What's your presentation all about? So I'm going to be talking about how uh, VR and AR is going to be used in the future, how it's going to impact my generation specifically, and how we can start using it to solve meaningful problems in the world that can uh, have a lot of impact on millions and millions of people. Can you give us an example because those of us in another generation may not be fully um, comprehending what all of this really means, this augmented and virtual reality? Yeah, so virtual reality is essentially the ability to create new artificial realities around us that we are able to see within these head-mounted displays. and. Uh, it's basically created within a 3D space and we're able to customize it however we want. Augmented reality is adding digital interfaces into a real world environment. So basically phones that are integrated into the walls, the floors, everything around us essentially. And specifically a problem that I'm going to be talking about at TED would be uh, distance, for example. And uh, in my case, the, only my parents and my brother are here in Toronto and the entirety of the rest of my family are in India. And imagine having the ability to use uh, VR to bring them right in front of me through this virtual reality and make it feel like they're in front of me and create that same experience that I would have in real life but inside this virtual reality. And that's like a really cool problem that it can solve. Uh, and now like essentially distance barriers are completely gone from our world. How did you get interested in all of this? So I got interested in it through this program called the Knowledge Society here in Toronto. And it's a human accelerator program for high school students that's designed to help build exceptional people to solve some of the world's most important problems. And we get exposed to technologies like artificial intelligence, VR and AR, self-driving cars, and VR really caught my eye. And from there, I wanted to start developing and building for this technology as soon as I could. So I reached out to Microsoft, actually, and they sponsored me to start building for their headset, which is the HoloLens. And from there, it took off. And uh, I started building more and more applications, and now I'm working on my own company called Waypoint AR, a navigation platform for indoor locations that uses augmented reality and artificial intelligence to make indoor navigation a lot more intuitive. Wow. Um, do you go to school? Yeah, I do go to school. I go to the University of Toronto schools. Again, you're 15. Um, I have another question for you before we run out of time. A lot of people are scared by this technology, and you mentioned AI or artificial intelligence. What do you say to the people who can't quite grasp it and, and fear what it all means? Yeah, so I think uh, in my perspective of how I look at technology, I like looking at it in a really positive way and how we can start building it to solve problems in the future and not in the negative aspect of it and what type of issues can come about it. And if we think that way, in my opinion, we would never be able to build these technologies in the first place. Like if we thought about pollution earlier, we just never have cars or airplanes or transportation. We just wouldn't have any technology right now. So I think it's important to have advancement, but we should also keep in mind about the negative aspects and try to prevent them as well. But I think any type of positive advancement is obviously really awesome. And that's the aspect that I really like focusing on. You are just fantastic, and we wish you all the best, and I have a feeling that we're going to hear a lot more about you. Uh, Sabarish Nianamorthy, all the best. Thanks so much. Good luck with your talk. Yeah, thanks for having me.